This is the great historical town of Calvi on the west coast of Corsica. Its beauty makes it one of the most popular summer destinations. Arriving towards the end of my visit on this stunning island, I realized that Corsicans are very proud about their gastronomy. In every town, the local specialties are on display in a gourmet store or market. The local olive oil, made with very ripe black olives, is very sweet. Live crayfish are for sale for family feasts. Freshly picked citrus fruits are everywhere on display. Orange trees are even grown in city squares, and the sweet and sour clementines are transformed into exquisite jams. Corsican wines have been made since Roman times, and fine wines are produced almost all around the island on the hilly slopes closest to the coast. Clo Coulombu, a winery just north of Calvi, has produced excellent reds, whites and roses for the last 40 years. The owner, Etienne Suzoni, is dedicated to making great wines. Ici, c'est on est dans une parcelle de Chacaret. C'est c'est un des cépages les plus typiques de l'île, dans les rouges et dans les rosés, avec le Nieluccio. Et pour les blancs, bien sûr, c'est le Vermentino, qui lui est chez lui en Méditerranée et, et en Corse particulièrement, avec des variantes selon les terroirs, selon l'influence des montagnes, mais toujours le bord de mer qui lui donne un style que, qui est unique. Nous sommes dans un vignoble en culture biologique, donc on est sur des pratiques où on respecte la terre, les fumures sont à base de compost. Nos vins euh, euh, sont sur de, des fruits, des fruits euh, euh, et des épices euh, dès qu'on les garde. On les boit plutôt jeunes. This is really delicious. It is actually the best Corsican wine that I've ever tasted. It's great. This flavorsome chicken marango is one of the most famous French dishes and was created for Napoleon Bonaparte. I first browned some chicken pieces in a little oil, seasoning with salt and pepper. I like to cook the chicken skin side first to melt the excess fat and to give it a lovely golden color. Then I transfer the chicken to a roasting pan and bake in the oven at 160 degrees for about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, I add some shallots to the pan and one tablespoon of thyme. After a few minutes, I add four pieces of orange peel, an half a glass of Corsican white wine, and boil until the wine has almost evaporated. Next, I stir in two cups of diced tomato for a few minutes, and add the chicken pieces with two tablespoons of olives. When it's hot, I serve the chicken with a little sauce and freshly cooked broad beans. It's very popular, and I understand why Napoleon loved poulet marango. Tomorrow we are in Nice on the splendid Riviera and we visit the great market and an olive grove.